At this place in history, we're in West Hartford and with Executive Director of the Vermont Historical Society, Steve Perkins, to tell us what we're doing here with this railroad trestle behind us. Well, railroad trestle on the banks of the White River here. This is the site of the worst train disaster in Vermont history. Wow. So we have to take ourselves back to 1887 and uh, it was a really cold night, early morning hours of February 5th. We had a packed train which started in White River Junction. Most of the passengers were headed to the famous Montreal Winter Carnival, so they're taking the train up in the middle of the night. Um, and you know, half an hour into the trip, disaster struck. So as it was coming across the bridge, it was going probably a little too fast. They were in a hurry trying to make up time. The, the rear passenger car started to shake and started to jump the tracks. And then it pulled the next car and the next car until soon enough, all of the passenger cars had been pulled off the tracks and landed on the frozen White River below the trestle. Uh, the brake man witnessed this and so he had jumped off the train and rolled down the bank, landing on the ice and saw the cars fall and crash and um, the, the engine and the mail car and the te coal tender all made it across the bridge and so uh, a number of crew members were really the only ones left to help rescue those below. So there were survivors then, is that kind of where the story ends? It doesn't, it's not where it ends. So there were survivors, the train, for the cars fell about 43 feet, um, but ultimately, you know, and smashing on that ice below. but. We have these, so I, I brought this lantern here uh, to show you. This is from the Rutland Railroad, and I know some railroad buffs will say, no, this disaster happened on the Central Vermont Railroad, but this is what I had at hand. But this is a railroad lantern. And if you think of all of these passenger coaches, they're all made out of wood. They're lit using kerosene lanterns. And this is in February, so they're heated with coal stoves. So lanterns like this and the coal stoves smashed when these cars hit the ice. The cars are made out of wood, everything caught on fire. So people who survived the initial crash, they started to be burned. Um, I mean, really kind of scary stories. Are there any first-hand accounts? There was. There's a guy named with the last name of Tewksbury, and uh, he was going from White River Junction to his house in Randolph. So, I mean, he was 45-minute so ride. Yeah, just going home. He survived the crash, but he was trapped beneath his seat, and he saw the flames coming towards him. He's yelling and screaming for help. He describes an older couple behind him, unfortunately being consumed by the flames and seeing it coming for him. He said two strong men found him, grabbed him by the arms, pulled him. He's yelling, I don't want to be burned. Get me out of here. They ended up breaking at least one of his legs, pulling him out of the wreckage, but they got him away. They pulled him across the ice and set him up against one of the piers here under the bridge. So uh, there are other similar stories like that. The train ended up completely, or the cars ended up completely burning. Uh, but Tewksbury goes on to say he's sitting against this pier and he looks up and he sees that the bridge is on fire. So he's yelling, he's, come get me, I need, you need to move me, I'm not safe anymore. When the bridge was built, it was sheathed in metal to keep sparks from these trains from setting the bridge on fire from the top. I don't think anyone would have thought that this thing would have burned from the bottom, but the burning train on the ice set the bridge on fire, so the next disaster was the entire bridge burned down. Wow, so how many people were killed? So accounts vary, um, you know, anywhere from 30 to 40 people um, perished, um, but most accounts really just say many. Out of how many, again, were on the train? 89, 89, 89 people on the train. Uh, but some, I guess you could say good, or at least regulations came out of this. Federal Railroad Commission um, started making changes and saying that passenger cars had to use electric lights mm. and electric heaters. They had to stop using kerosene lanterns and coal stoves um, because of this disaster. At the site of Vermont's worst train disaster at this place in history.